Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Live with Naz, an hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from Southern California. Today is episode number 383. We've been with you guys 383 times already, 383 hours. That's a great thing, people. That's amazing. Let's see. Let's invite our friends from the other side. Okay. Okay. Accessory not supported. No, yes, it is supported, but you just don't know that, Mr. Computer. All right. Let's invite people from the other side with us. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. People. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Happy New Year. First time together since last year. It's amazing. Amazing. I forgot it's New Year. Okay. Oh, oh, it's going to play games now. Really? Really? Okay, Facebook. Sorry, Facebook's trying to be funny. I'm going to put them in Facebook jail. My own jail. Can we put Facebook in a jail? Okay, let's see. Here we go. Good, Facebook. Haha. -ha. Got scared, huh? Okay, let's share. No, 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 not like that. No, no, no. Don't share like that. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. All righty. Let's see who's joining us tonight. Sarah, how are you, Sarah? Rochelle. Hello, Rochelle, with the tattoos. That might scare me. They don't. Come on, everyone. The door is wide open. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Becky Voth is here. People from the other side, Catherine Allen, how are you? 3 plus 8 equals 3, good enough for me. We appreciate the de dedication to the show. Thank you so much. I get more out of it than a lot of you, I think. A more of you, all of you. I get a lot out of this. But unfortunately, tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, I'm going to be in Cambria for a board meeting. So I'm taking Maha, Tally, and guess who? Carol is going, because Carol now is kind of started to eat again. The pain subsided, but right now she has to deal with 10 days of withdrawals from these heavy opioids, and the Norco and the Persica, whatever Persica, the Persicat. These are heavy, heavy drugs. These are worse than street drugs. So when they get off, they get withdrawals, so she gets in this nasty mood and she's like so upset and so frustrated and we understand that so we we deal with it so she's gonna go with us for to the central valley coast which is the most beautiful part of california if you ever come to california if you live in washington or if you come to from any state you you fly to san francisco say hello to chris rosetti and then Drive down the coast on the one, all the way down to San Diego. So we're going to be in Cambria. Hello, people. I'm just giving you some tourist advice. Since you can't fly because a lot of flights are canceled, because lots of flight attendants have the, what do you call it? The Omicron, the Omicron virus, people. That was the latest variant, Omicron. What's the next one? It's gonna be the macaron, which is the 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 French pastry that Bobby Ebert makes. And then my friend was suggesting, uh, I'm gonna show you. So the chevron. If you're Middle Eastern, you get the chevron. You're gonna feel oily and get some gas and and just gonna smell like unleaded fuel. But hey, we appreciate your dedication. Thank you, Becky Voth, Catherine Allen, Rita. Rita, funny Rita, new year, new, whatever hundred things you came up with. So don't know what's happened. Uh, are you still Rita the Rita? Catherine. <laughs> Debbie Malone, how are you? Haven't seen you since last year. Yeah, me too. Hello from the other. You know, I was on Dave Ebert's um, gifts to, uh, for glory and uh, podcast it was really fun to to be with dave and just he's so easy going and smooth hosting it was fun 
Hello, long time no see. <laughs> Paul Garland, how are you? It's Happy New Year. It's been a while. Mr. Awesomeness has entered. Are you feeling? How was your blood results? Let's see. Beverly Wicks, welcome from Virginia. Thank you for joining us. Okay, and let's see who else. Anita. Anita Esparaza. Oh, are you the Anita from San Diego that we met yesterday? No. At Hope Dealer Ministry. Thank you, Anita, for joining us. First timers, we ask one question. City and state where you at? That's all. We ask it once, and if we forget, we ask twice, and that's it. That's right. It has been all the way since last year. Yes. And let's see. Hi, Naz Blessing. Meldrick Ismail Jackson. It's been a long time. Thank you for joining us. Amranda's sister. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for joining us, Anita. All righty, Sarah. Well, at least we know that Naz gets more material out of this show. <laughs> really eerie in the new year. -y. It's Art. <laughs> Hi, Art. Happy New Year, brother. Hello from Highland. Amy is here. Becky Vos, love your... <laughs> okay, Meldrick. Naz, are you a Catholic priest? Oxycodian is my friend, but they give me headaches in my stomach and make me angry that's what happened for carol she's taken the you know the oxycodine which is uh, the persica where norco is hydrocodine so dolores is here hello praying carol will not have to be on those heavy pens she stopped them she is a strong girl she stopped the medication so she's taken just tylenol for but but the withdrawals would take 10 days. She went to the doctor today and he said, he's always, I don't know what kind of doctor is this. This guy is like, uh, like last time she went, he goes, oh, your pain. You think you had pain. You're going to have pain the next week. And then today she went to him. She goes, I got off of the medicine. Yeah, but you're going to get withdrawal. Oh, it's going to get worse for the next week. This Mr. Bad News physician, what is he? That's not an internist. That's a... <laughs> the pessimist is there's a like a, a school of medicine called pessimistic doctor i'm a doctor of pessimistic the f i think he pronounced it oh come on <laughs> no more after omicron unless it's pastry <laughs> that's right ah i got a new hairdo all right the high the barber realized his error and finished the job, and now I'm lightheaded. Oh, I get it. <laughs> the next one will be the Big Mac sickness. I'll take that. Ah, oh, thank you. It was my pleasure. I'm going to need to check out Dave Ebert's podcast. Sorry, Mr. It was good. Oh, his guest was amazing. The blood work results came back good. Amen. That's good. Prayer works. It really was a great podcast. Great job, David Naz. Thank you, Becky. Ottenberry. Uh, hey, Naz, you're looking slightly Catholic in that shirt. Oh, it's my undershirt and my overshirt and uh, the contrast of the color. But bless you, my children. Mulder Jackson equals Victor Ismail Perez from Florida. I know who you are. Thank you for praying for Michelle. Oh, Christopher Shansha. Yeah, guys, today today I, I have it on my list at the end of the show. We need to pray for a, a fellow sister. And I've never met her. I don't know her, but she asked for prayer. And we'll do, her name is Michelle Barcia. She's in the hospital with COVID and pneumonia, really fighting for her life. And it's uh, my friend Mark Christopher Lawrence asked if we can pray for her so i know you guys will so you keep her in prayer at the end of the show we'll pray for her i'll mention her again okay let's see all right well you guys christopher sean shah is a wonderful christian director people and you can check out his work some of he did some movies with comedian thor ramsey and other really really established director so check his work he can give us a link to where we can see some of his work. Chris. Amy, tomorrow night we'll be watching the last half hour 
Lunch at work. Tonight I'm home. Yeah. Anita, I was on with my sister Rhonda when we vacationed in Florida. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining us. Art, art, full of heart. Thank you. Maggie, Maggie Lou. Thank you for yesterday at church. All right. Maggie Lou Baker from San Diego, La Mesa. I was speaking at the Skyline Church yesterday. Two services. Great, huge church. Great people. Had a wonderful, wonderful time. I think about 25 people made first time commitments to Christ. So praise God for that. Okay, because Naz is wearing black with a white collar. All right, Timothy, I had ultrasound done today and I have doctor, all right. That Dr. Wack, yeah. Um, I'm not really like Carol's doctor's attitude, right? Dr. Doom, that's what it is, Rochelle, you got him. I ain't gonna call him Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom, Dr. Ne negative Ned. <laughs> doctor of pessimism is Dr. Fauci's specialty. Some doctors have the bedside manner of a bill collector <laughs> or a repo guy. That's him. That's him. Maha and Carol, they call him the butcher because he did the surgery and he looked like a butcher. Thank you. <laughs> ah, pray for my daughter. She, she's very sick. We will, guys, at the end of the show, 923, pray, pray. And of course, they're gonna pray for her the whole night and tomorrow and this week for Anita's daughter. She, she's very sick. Well, at least Naz has the blessing down. <laughs> Bless you too. Abu Naz, <laughs> Father Naz, yes. All our good Catholics remember North, South, East, and West. Jesus is the best. Oh, really? Oh, North, South, East, and best. Jesus is the best. I know I have some conservative friends who are going to name Father the Son and Donald Trump. <laughs> okay, I was going to confess my sins to you, Naz. You look like... I, go for it, Meldrick. Father, you, you need to check out Church People movie. Yeah, that's the one with Christopher Chanch. Uh He did it, and Thor Ramsey was in it. Naz needs to confess his story. Sarah? <laughs> okay here we go Chris gave you his church people so at the end of the show go back and click on it Nez confesses from your song did you ever steal jokes never never will and hate comedians who do it not hate them as people I hate hate them as professionals be sure to look for the efficient stage hand early in church people he's totally underrated actor all right. Is a bill collector a person who collects guys named bills? <laughs> okay. Carol's doctor must have been an IRS agent. All right. The guy who prayed for... <laughs> Speaking of the cross. All right. Let me take you back to last year. The last show we had. I asked you the question. But before I do that, let, somebody asked me, what is my New Year resolution? And a, I think Dave... COVID made me fearful of people. You look at someone, you know, talking to you without a mask and you think to yourself, is that the one who's going to give me COVID? Is that the one who's going to make it? You know, I used to look people in the eye. Used to look people in the eyes and let them know I'm listening. Just be respectful. Now, now I look for symptoms. I look at their face. I look if their nose is red, if their eyes are itchy if their face is red that means they have a fever if their nose is runny sometimes i touch them to feel uh, how hot they are and that's i test them as well i'm like oh what does that smell and they go oh i haven't been able to smell lately i'm like ah you're it or start you know or i have some extra candy with me sometimes like hey what does this one taste like they go what you can't taste it you have covid I'm like, no, you are the one in question here, not me. Also, COVID made me less considerate and sensitive. When I hear of someone getting sick, it used to be, oh, let's do something to help them. Let's send them some food and stuff. Now it's like you don't ask how they're doing. You just ask, when's the last time I saw that person? I hope 
It's been over 14 days or something. But anyway, last show I asked you, if another stimulus check does not come soon, I may have to fill in the blank. If another stimulus check does not come soon, I may have to fill in the blank. You guys came up with number 20, start having lots of kids. Number 19, do a 40-day fast. 18, turn my shirts inside out to save laundry costs. Number 17, become an endangered species. Number 16, become vegetarian. 15, I may have to donate my stem cells. Number 14, eat pre-cooked bacon. Bite a pig. Number 13, become a nun. Number 12, ask which child to leave home. Number 11, stop sanitizing. Number 10, if my stimulus check does not come soon, I may have to sell my fat to seals to save them from global warming. Number 9, move to England since I'm a large person and have a lot of pounds. Number 8, I may have to pay my San Francisco rent with pasta. Number 7, sell the pins under garments door to door. Number 6, I may have to continue wearing used underwear. Number five, play for the 49ers. Like it's an option, right? Number four, sell my parents. Sell my parents. Miss, confess your TP stealing sins. Uh, number three, increase my dowry by two goats. Number two, become an Uber driver. That is so funny because there's a reality to it. And the number one thing, if my stimulus check does not come soon, I may have to kiss a frog. That's really the ultimate <laughs> imagination, <laughs> hoping. Yeah. So here we go. Let's sanitize. If you're new with us, every 15 minutes, we hydrate and share. We used to sanitize and share. Now we hydrate and share. So please hydrate, drink whatever you want. As long as it's non-alcoholic and it doesn't burn your mouth. All right. Here's your first question for the night. What are the New Year resolution you already broke? Which New Year resolution? Okay, let's see. Which New Year resolution you already broke? Uh-uh. Pen not high. Okay, let's see what you got. Which New Year resolution? Not making New Year's, not making New Year's resolution. Okay, now in First Peter two nine it says, "But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood." You got it. You can bless no matter what they're wearing, right? Miss Sarah, I miss Sarah. Miss Sarah, did I miss that? Made number nine, top ten. Yes. You're kidding about the goats. <laughs> okay. Get to bed early. That <laughs> you broke that. Work out every day. That was gone. <laughs> Fasted from fasting. That's gone. Not making a new resolution. <laughs> okay. Stop punishing pe punishing people. Ate a ton of beef. <laughs> Here goes the resolution. Listen to my wife. You already broke that? <laughs> it's only three days, Rosetti. Come on. Frank said none. Oh, good job. Is that because you're keeping them or you don't have any? Getting along with my mother. <laughs> you made that resolution. Are you serious? Are you serious? None. Hydrate. Bathroom. Repeat. <laughs> That's right. Answered my wife when she was talking. <laughs> so your resolution was not to answer. I would love to hear your resolutions, Brent. We missed you. Happy New Year, brother. Ah, uh, I don't do New Year's resolution. Right? Oh, not stealing Bobby's macarons or other cookies. All right. Mine was, today I ate a lot of carbs. I said I'm not going to eat a lot of carbs. I ate a lot of carbs. Because there's a place 
in Laguna Beach, Laguna Hills, if you live close to that area, South Orange County. There's a place, a bakery called Chopin. Chopin. It's a French bakery that makes the best croissant you can ever eat, not even in France. They can't compete with them. It has a lot of butter in it. Here we go again. Here we go again. I don't know why this show goes to food right away. But Maha came home from Tally's, Carol's doctor, and she brought croissants and pastries. And, of course, they ate all the fruits of the, the little thing. So I had to eat the, the cream and the cookies. So I ruined it today. So that's why I broke that. Stop trying to stop making New Year's resolution. Hello, Bobby Miller. Happy New Year. It's 11.48 p.m. here. If I hydrate, I'll be going to the bathroom several times during the night. I can, I feel your pain and my overactive bladder and enlarged prostate. It's a terrible combination. Welcome to age 64. Well, you don't have to have be 64 to be running to the bathroom in the middle of the night. That's why when you, when I go, I don't care what kind of pillow I buy him. This Mr. My Pillow, he's like, when you take my pillow, you're gonna sleep through the night. No, I need my pillow. I need a new bladder to go with it. To cancel my subscription to New Year's Resolution magazine, today we ate a donuts from Corona at the Circle K by Coles. Those donuts are fresh. Let's see. Oh, Coles, is that Coles by Norco of Hidden Valley or the one down south by at the crossing? Well, I think it's the first one. Stop asking women if they're pregnant. <laughs> Just kidding. I value my life too much. I better read those. Eight sweets and didn't do my walking on New Year's Day. Yeah, I saw how Bobby Ebert came after you with the rolling pin. I did, however, decide to read through the whole Bible with the kids. This, what a great resolution. We're doing it in chron chronological order and so far so good. Three for three days, good for you. We'll be praying that you finish the whole Bible with your kids. What an awesome mom. Not talking about food on live with that. <laughs> Cracked my knuckles. <laughs> Take a giant swig, swig of communion wine. <laughs> to stay out of rehab for smoking hams. <laughs> Eight five pounds of chocolate. Oh, brushing my tooth. <laughs> <laughs> not breathing broke that one right away <laughs> new resolution that i broke was not to be sarcastic towards ignorant people <laughs> well you can't help it man have couple lose weight play more racquetball love everybody no matter what i love that i would love to pick up racquetball again frank we don't have any racquetball courts around us here I'm working out strenuously to get healthier. All right, Bobby. Did you break anything? I resolved that to... In <laughs> okay, I'm not going there. Uh -huh, and we're back to food, ladies and gents. <laughs> Play music loud with all the windows open and bless the neighbors with it. Oh, Lord, sweet. <laughs> food seduction again. Isn't that a sin? Nope. Ness gets his sexy voice going when he talks about food. I'm attracted to food. I know. I can't help but look at it, especially uh, desserts. I, I, I can walk by a, a roast of la or a lamb without looking. But man, you have a, a cheesecake or something? Oh, my eyes adore you. So I never... Laid my hands on you. My eyes adore you. Now thanks, my waistline just exploded. Going to Hawaii. Get my, uh, you broke. Get my pillow. Your bladder will be gladder. <laughs> Taking the tape off the engine light. You can't do that. Next, you'll take the mattress label off, and you're in trouble. The insurance guy tried to give us a big chocolate bar. He bought. And from someone, we turned it down. Good for you. Switching to Geico and saving 15%. Saying I do. You broke that. Yes, the calls at the crossing. Cool. Oh, they have a donut shop right there? I need to go there. Eight chili with beans. Ah. 
You guys know in this show we don't talk about that. I don't like talking about that. I don't like the whole subject. Even though I said something about Chevron. Asking people if my interest them in essential oils. Stop twirling my nose. <laughs> Becoming an Avon lady. I read the Bible front to back once in the store. <laughs> the cover said the price and the back had the price on it. Eating as much chocolate as I can. Plucking a chicken before she dies. No problem. Last year, my son Rex was devastated when he realized he forgot to make a New Year's resolution. Oh, getting the <laughs> Rita. What are you doing? I'm pretty sure that's a total love affair with sweets. I do. <laughs> New Year's resolution I broke was stop picking my no. <laughs> ow, 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 guys, we're not going there. Let's keep the level up. Let's see, you guys. I'm not hungry anymore now. I'm talking sweets and desserts, and you guys are bringing all this bodily function and nose. Okay, Alan is always good, very classic. If Naz brought desserts, when when is Michael with the main course? Where is the Michael with the main course? Do not eat at more than one buffet at a time. Salted caramel cheesecake. Oh, you got to try the zero sugar strawberry lemonade at Del Taco. Oh. I didn't know it's zero. Okay, we'll try it. Keeping my 11 toe. I have resolved to finally cutting the tag off my pillow, but I chickened out. Lonnie is here. Happy New Year, Lonnie, Mr. TikTok. At Circle C is the donuts by the crossing. Oh. Prank calling people to tell them I've been trying to reach them about their car's warranty. <laughs> Tipping cows. Okay, off to bed early. Two door. Uh, two driving appointments first thing in the morning. Two doctor's appointments, not driving. Oh, I hope you feel better. To not talk about anything that oozes. Yes. To stop Weight Watchers and Jehovah Witness knocking on my front door. <laughs> Weight Watchers knock on your door. Ah, I guess. I guess they target people, huh? No problem, Rosalie. I love you, of course. No, don't go. Don't leave. Hunting for mountain chicken. We've been fun that the cheesecake... Oh, oh yeah, I've had it last time we went. The, the caramel cheesecake. Oh, salted caramel. Please stay. Wash magways in water and feed them after midnight. What's a magways? I see sweets and I start singing, you light up my life. No, not exchanging salt for sugar to keep my bank up to date by installing a new app. Believing that the Nigerian prince is real. He is, just like Santa Claus. Yeah, right, you stop being hungry. Lying in the sin. I know that one. <laughs> not taking magazines from the doctor's office. Giving dogs peanut butter and watching them chew and lick for hours. Mine just like <laughs> swallowed it and ready. My cat Samantha wants attention now. Thank you. Spending more time with my goldfish. <laughs> Letting the rooster Ruby the Red Hen retire, but all we know that they won't happen. They'll be back. Gizmo from the Gremlins was a Mogo. Mogwai. Oh. To empty my inbox using my sleeves for napkins and put on, put the cat in the dryer to dry her off. To watch all the Hobbits and Lord of the Rings in one sitting. I've never seen these movies, you know that? I've never seen Lord of the Rings. I heard so many great things about it. All right, let me take you to the next question. It came from Rita and the question is, worst name or a slogan for a tire shop? Worst name or a slogan for a tire shop. Stop. <laughs> Nails are us. <laughs> That's fast. That's very fast, Becky. That's good. That's funny. Nails are us. 
Stepping away for a bit to get some tea. Be back soon, right? You need to hydrate and share. Flat forever. Good. This is good. Flats are us. Flat tire. Pop off tire shop. Dunking donuts. Putting a cardboard cutout of me in front of my computer when attending Zoom meetings. Will never happen on the same night, right? Sure, tread on me. <laughs> Burn out. Tread lightly where the rubber does not meet the road. <laughs> Manually inflatable tire. <laughs> Manually inflatable tire. Less Schwabby. Crazy guy tire shop. Two airheads will try to fix your tires. Skin tight tires. <laughs> That's good. That's good, Brent. You deserve the. Do you deserve this right now? <laughs> That's good. That was funny. I've never heard that one before. Skin. Skin tight tires, retreads, balder than a newborn baby, deflated egos tires, got pliers, tire shop, and dentist service. Good one. Good month tires. <laughs> oh, they're lasting. Bald eagle. <laughs> Bald eagle tires. We really should retire. Blondie's tire shop. Are you tired? Tire shop. Pat, Flintstones Tire and Podiatry. Good one. Tired tires. <laughs> tires gone wild shop. Pin question, please. I did, didn't I? Oh. Is it not pinned? It's not pinned. Huh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's do that. Okay. We're not crazy. Oh, they're coming fast. Flat joke tires. Hey, Matthew, how are you? The retiring mechanic. Hydrate. Oh, yeah, we need to hydrate. Thank you, Alan. Hydrate and share. Remember, people, there's been no show tomorrow, Wednesday or Thursday because of the... I'm going to be in Cambria, California for three days for our board meeting for a ministry I'm, I'm a board member on. And uh, I'll be back on Friday with you guys, hopefully. God willing. Tired tires. We'll, we'll make you go around in circles. Do it yourself, tire shop. Bridgestone is how we feel. Blowouts are us. Acupuncture. <laughs> Nothing to spare. <laughs> Good job. Flintstone Tire Shop. We're not crazy. We're lug nuts. <laughs> Wheels hit the road shop. Give us your tires and wheelies. As opposed to give us your tired and weary. <laughs> uneven tires for uneven road. Tire Shop. The tires for the wheels within wheels. I'll know who reads this Bible now. Oh. The tires for the wheels within wheels. Oh, is that, uh, that's a vision that Ezekiel had, right? Thank you. Weight Watchers. Expired Tires Tire Shop. It's hip to be square. <laughs> Good. BB is jealous of, all right. Thank you for the update, Amy. We flat, we fall flat. Square tires. Many spokes Mormon Tire Shop. Feeling flat tires. 
I think my funniest uh, Mormon joke was, I don't make fun of Mormons people because they're great people. They're wonderful people. I don't agree with their theology. I'll tell you that right now. But they're great, nice people. Well, one time we were in um, at Zion National Park. So we rented uh, a verbal, uh, like Airbnb from this Mormon family, the sweetest man. And it was all the family, but what, 12 of us? And anyway, so in the morning, they were moving a, a dresser, a heavy, heavy dresser. So there was the guy that owned the cabin who lived next door and two guys, two helpers from his church. And they were heavy, trying, uh, they're trying to move it. So I offered, I say, do you need more men, more men? <laughs> and they busted out laughing. I thought they'll be offended. I'm like, you need more men? <laughs> So that's my funny Mormon joke. And they thought it was hilarious. So it's okay. <laughs> we fall flat. <laughs> Square tires. <laughs> feeling flat tires. Weighted down. <laughs> bubble butt tire. As the wheel turns. Amish tire repair shop. And balanced a tire repair facility. Three chin shop. Air and a spare. <laughs> Good one. Buy five tires and get the six one free. Oh, that's right. Rita gave me some answers. Buy four, get the fifth one free. Flat out wrong. Retire for sale. Flintstone tires for sale. I'm sorry, Rita. I should have read them first. Caveman wheels. They never wear out. Rubber ducky tires. Blowout tire shop. 70s. A groovy tire place. Spare us above the rim tire shop. <laughs> tires designed by preschoolers. Broken axle and tires. Retread are us. We are as flat as a mother in law's singing voice. <laughs> Air down tire shop. The hydroplanes. Planers. The hydroplaners. All right, worst name for a or a slogan for a tire shop. Flat is in shop. <laughs> Tires, we ply our trade. I used to be a more man. I lost weight, so I am now a less man. <laughs> I heard a Mormon gal talking about how having many wives is like having more spokes on a wheel. The more spokes, the stronger the wheel was her philosophy. You know, uh, spokes, uh, you mean... <laughs> You mean a, a spike <laughs> will, will flatten the weir. Naz, if I had made that Mormon joke, I could have said it was big of me. Big of me. <laughs> we are Patch Adams. We put the <laughs> Patch Adams, get it, for the tire. We put the row in tire rotation. <laughs> Stone ground tires. Fifth wheel tire shop. Fix the flat fools. All tires half off. We roll you over. Under pressure. Good. Square tires. We don't cut corners. That's good. All right. As the tire bounces. All righty. Keep them coming. You all have a good night already? Brent, where are you going, man? Oh, you have the radio station in the morning. Well, good night. Thank you for joining us. Say hi to Audra. Treading wheel, water, treading water. Flat four, tires and waffle makers. That's true, they look the same. Alrighty. Give me the worst name or a slogan for a tire shop. Beautiful baldies. <laughs> Got to go get up early. Moving to Oklahoma. You're moving to Oklahoma. Moving or just... Oh, cool. Well, I get to go now. Here's my prayer request for me to get the stitches out and go back to work. We'll be praying for you, Timothy. What do you do for work? Duct tape, tire shop, patch it with duct tape. Elena, welcome, welcome. 
tires and suppliers of roadkill. We never tire. No, no season radials. <laughs> the hills are alive with the smell of burning rubber. Where rubber meets the road. We give. How about we, we stop on a two hundred dollar, a hundred dollar, not a dime. We give retired tires a new life. No tread necessary. Riding on donuts. What's air got to do with it? Not sure if you saw my flat four up there. No, I didn't, Becky. I'm sorry. Flat four. Sometimes they're moving so fast. One flat away from a visit. Ten year warranty pops at tier nine. Or where the rubber melts the road. Okay, it is third wheels are us. Okay. Delilah, stop it. All right, let's do the Guinness Book of World Record. Skidmore Tire Shop. Hello, Pat. Okay. The Guinness Book of World Record, if you're new to us, today is we read what's the national day. Today is National Drinking Straw Day. The Drinking Straw Day. You know those ones in California, it has to be paper straw or else you cannot use it. We're full of hot air tire shop. So, the lo I'm going to read you the, the record number. Well, not number, the record. And if you guess the right number or close to it in three tries, you win this beautiful toilet paper. Yeah. Toilet paper coming back in style. All right. The longest straw chain using... 58,469 drinking straws. The chain was made by Petro Poganora Marco from, he is from uh, Romania. And 27 Romanian students helped him make that long straw chain, a ch chain from drinking straws in July 20, 2008. So, how long was that chain, straw chain? Over 10,000, under 50,000. Over 10,000, under 50,000. Give me your best guesses. Let's see. Buy one tire and rotation is free. We're full of hot air tire shop. Rubber baby buggy tires. You can drink straw. <laughs> it's called drinking straw. Slide, slide, and slide again, tire shop. It's going to be 39 degrees in Highland. Ooh, cold. Uh, wheel of misfortune shop. King Tut, the unrotated tires. That's good. The fifth wheel is on us. Holly tires. Training wheels are free. Yes, you can. The question is the last straw. <laughs> when it was complete, they were like, that's the last straw. <laughs> okay, Art said 49,000, 49,999, 49,998, and 49,997. Uh, Amy said 11,420. It's over 10,000, so it's 11,4 and 10,231. Good answers. Becky Vo said 10,299, 12,995, and 14,981. Sarah said 10,111, 30,111, and 40,111. Rochelle, 13,797. Matthew, 11,235, 21,335, and 33,333. And let's see, Amy, 13,543. Where's the paper? Were they paper or plastic straw? Plastic. But thank you for clarifying that. Okay, Becky Ottenberry, 21,525, 31,525, and 
44, 41, 5, 26. Dolores, 10, 5, 63, 24, 6, 19, 44, 2, 56. Dave Ebert said 10, 236, 11, 258, and 14, 355. We never retire. Smoke and tires. Rita said 30,000, 42,000, and 13, 455. Blowout shop. Bobby Miller, 40,000, 45, 999, and 49, 999. Okay, let's see. Free range tires. 20,000, 345, 30,000, 456, and 40, 567. Catherine Allen, 12,344, 45,000, and 34,567. So I don't think you saw my question up there. You can drink straw? <laughs> I did. Uh, let's see. Can you drink straw? <laughs> I don't know. Tires in the Amish style, the rolling tires. Lonnie said, 11, 4, 15, 10, 6, 35, and 11, 3, 45. Used tires. They didn't work for the last guy. Hopefully, they'll work for you. Sold out on straws. Stone white tire shop. Made out stone. All right. Keep them coming. Let's see who came closest. Mm, 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 mm. I'm trying. This is the difficult one. Oh. Okay. Okay, this is a difficult one. This is a difficult one. This is a difficult. Okay, I think I got the winner. The winner. Where is the winner? Where is the winner? Here is the winner. Let's see. Who is the winner? Shoot. Somebody is winning. Okay, Rooster and Ruby's phone. So the creek with the tire. Up the creek with a grill to perfection. <laughs> and all the straw floated away. You roll him. <laughs> we sold them. <laughs> you mentioned drinking straws. So you drink straw. Oh. Formerly a leper colony tire shop. A stuck tire. Okay. Let's see who is the one. Are you guys done? With all your guesses, if you are, I think, I think the winner, and you help me out if you don't like, here's the number. The longest straw chain measured 37,066, 37,066. Okay. So that... Okay, 29. So let's see. I'm doing the math now. Where is where is Becky Voth when you need her for math? Minus. Okay. The winner is, ladies and gentlemen, please being patient with me as the judges are all putting their numbers together. We are coming up. What? Ah, oh, okay. The winners are, we have two people who won that said 40,000 and they came the closest. And if I'm not mistaken, it's Bobby Miller and the other person who said 40,000 is Sorry, this is difficult today. I don't know why. It's the new year, and math is not my forte this year. That's my new year resolution, not to do math very well. Bobby Miller said 40. Who else said 40? Who else said 40,000? I don't see anybody else saying 40,000. I think we have one winner. Mr. Bobby Miller. Sold, sold. Sold long distance. <laughs> I'm going to pull another Steve Barbie. I do. <laughs> you can't handle the time. Okay, I think the winner is Bobby Miller. Bobby, if anybody else said 40,000 or came closer to 37,066 feet, 
let me know i'm willing to matthew dirk said 33 333 which makes it okay let's see that might okay 37066 minus 33333 equals 3733 but 40000 minus 37066 no 2900 difference is still the closest bobby you maintain the winning toilet paper it's yours you keep it you hang on to it hang on like this with two fingers don't hang it like this hang on to it like this so it roll keep it rolling see see how smooth it's rolling i put oil in it so it doesn't stick <laughs> see it's not sticky at all <laughs> how did i dig myself into horrible stuff Catherine Allen said 34569. Wait, wait, wait. 34. Oh, that's where Catherine. Uh, I was, okay. I was looking at Dolores. Oh, man, this is bad. I'm, I'm really going to get fired for this. 34567 minus 37066. Oh, 2500. Hey, Bobby. Could you wait on doing this till next time you win? So this baby is going further. It's going to Beverly Wicks, to Catherine Allen. Catherine Allen, I'm pulling a Steve Harvey again. <laughs> I apologize. This is yours. This is for Catherine Allen. Congratulations. And next time I'll pick an easier one. But Bobby, I'm sorry I built your hopes up, but I understand. You're a big man. Uh, you can understand. Alrighty, congrats. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> right now it's 9.23. Please, please, please pray for my friend. Not my friend, I don't know her, for my friend's friend. My friend Mark Christopher Lawrence asked me to pray, to have you guys pray for Michelle Barcia. She's in the hospital with COVID and pneumonia. She actually texted people asking for prayer. Her oxygen, oxygen levels were low. She needed help. New judge with a culture. Okay, Alan. We'll, when we have a budget, we'll hire another judge. All right. Anybody needs prayer? This is your time. Pray for Anita's daughter. She asked for that earlier. She's very sick. Keep her in prayer. One square for Bobby for consolation prize. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Anybody needs prayer? This is your time. Well, butter. <laughs> Who needs prayer? Let me know. I'm spoken for Sarah. Okay, while you're asking for prayer requests, I'm going to just encourage you a little bit. In Luke 24, 4, when Jesus was buried, uh, Joseph of Arimathea, you know, put him in a tomb, wrapped him with linen, and they clothed it. And it says, uh, well, on the morning, Sunday morning, the ladies, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James, and uh, and several other ladies. I think it was Susanna and uh, other. Uh, they came to the tomb with their spices to do the proper burial because they did it in a rush with Joseph Arimathea because it was the Sabbath was coming and they were preparing for the Sabbath. And uh, so anyway, so they went to the tomb and uh, Jesus already rose from the dead. And it, was, and it happened as they were greatly perplexed, that's Luke 24, 4, about this, that behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. Some people think they're angels. Other people, including me, believe it was Elijah and Moses. Same people when he, when he, you know, 
ascended back to heaven they were there too but anyway they said, then as they were afraid the the women were afraid and bowed their faces to the earth they said to them why do you seek the living among the dead why do you seek the living among the dead what a powerful statement why do you seek the living among the dead the angels question made a point well this author thinks it's the angels but the living are not to be found among the dead. We should not expect spiritual life among those who don't have it. Listen to me, single people. Listen to me, single people. If you're looking and you desire to be married, don't look for someone who's spiritually dead. Don't look because you're living because you have Jesus and the Holy Spirit in your heart. Don't be looking for an equally yoked, a dead spiritual person. You know, many look for Jesus in dead things, religious tradition, in formalism, in man's rules, in human efforts, in ingenuity. We find Jesus only where there is resurrection life, where he is worships in spirit and in truth. That's where you find life. That's where you seek life. All right, pray for my job. I want to work day shift, not night. We'll be praying for that. Um, Amy, yes. Unspoken prayer for Bobby Miller and for his hands as well. My friend Louise, he has had a stroke. We'll be praying for Dolores' friend. All right, we pray first. The judge gets more sugar before he makes a call. <laughs> okay. Prayers, pray for my job. Love you all. Have a blessed night. Thank you, Dave. Thank you for the podcast today. Pray for all those with COVID. Yes, oh, there's so many more people that I know now that have COVID than in the first or second round with Delta and COVID-19. Prayer for safe travels for Ned and family. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pray for my situation of someone we know okay we'll be praying for that single people don't go looking to date a buddha statue <laughs> please give my friend oh maggie joe and her son still with their respective eye issue i'll keep mentioning them until they're better all right that's good what a good friend you are all right guys i love you guys happy new year we'll see you on friday god willing on the 7th, Friday the 7th of January, because I'm going to be gone tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday in Cambria, California. Love you guys and have a good